again, folks. It's time for another of those classic top 10 recipes of all time. And this is one I found in a cookbook about 20 years ago, and my kids have had it ever since. They've grown up on it. I use it for light entertaining as well. It is one of my all-time favorites and so tasty, sour broaden. So let's get right to it. There are essentially three parts to this recipe. There's the meat, there is the brown gravy, and then there is the spice mixture, which is where a ton of the flavor is going to come from. To start, we're going to take about two pounds of stewing beef, or you can use a cheap cut of roast beef, cut away the fat and the sinew, and cube it up into about one inch cubes. And then we're going to brown it in a little bit of butter in a medium hot skillet until it's brown. It doesn't have to be cooked because we're going to simmer it for hours later. But brown it up and then separate it with a slotted spoon into a bowl and set it aside. But keep the juice in your skillet because we're going to use that. Now while the meat is browning, we're going to make up the brown gravy. So take a bowl, pour in the two packets of brown gravy mix and two cups of water and give it a good stir and set it aside. We're going to add that to the skillet once we remove the meat. Okay, so the meat is still browning. We've got the gravy mixture put aside. Now take another small bowl and we're going to make up the spice mixture. And this is really, really simple and really delicious. Take two teaspoons of Worcester sauce, four tablespoons of white wine vinegar. You're going to add about a half a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of salt. And about six tablespoons of brown sugar plus two tablespoons of onion powder and a teaspoon of ginger. Give that a real thorough whisking. Make sure it's really well blended. All the brown sugar lumps are taken out and set it aside because we're going to add that in to the gravy mixture in the skillet with the meat and make one delicious dish. We've got everything prepared now. At this point the meat's browned. Let's remove it from the skillet. Use a slotted spoon reserving the, the liquid and then add in the gravy mixture and the spice mixture. Bring that up to a boil and then add your meat back in and reduce your heat to a simmer. Now go ahead and cover the skillet and we're going to simmer that for about 90 minutes. Check it occasionally and give it a stir. What we're trying to do is thicken the gravy at this point and that long simmer is going to tenderize this meat until it is just juicy and tasty and tender when you eat it. Now through some very fancy cutting and editing, it is 90 minutes later and it's time to serve up our sour broaden. So cook up some egg noodles. When they're ready, butter them up and we're ready for plating. And there you have it. One of the tastiest dinners you are going to ever have. Sour broaden. Enjoy folks and bon appetit.